Hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Tonight we read from Matthew 21 and Proverbs and Proverbs 12. The yes. reverse. Yeah, so you can start off with what you like to say, Matthew. Well, Matthew 21, I was just saying, mentioning that my play son is going back to his dorm, college life, and I just finished a Zoom call with my neighbors here in a block club, and we were talking about businesses and structures and talking about our dwelling places wherever you live whether it's a dorm a condo an apartment a trailer home a mansion we want to be able to have the testimony and the declaration that jesus said in verse 13 he said that my house my this place this temple shall be called the house of prayer and like I said, especially going back to college on campus, you know, before you even go to study, before you get out of the bed, you want your, your mind to be aligned to God's will and you want to acknowledge him in all you do and trust in the Lord with all your heart and not lean to your own understanding. So to do that, you pray. And in verse 22, it says, in all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. So make sure you're having a house of prayer and you honor God. I'm going to switch seats with you. Mm -hmm. Chico's turn. Well, um, I have the same verse as Ms. Murph, uh, Matthew 22. Um, uh, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. And so mainly one of the things uh, I've been praying about is just uh, a better experience in my collegiate years. And God has been showing me God's been showing me favor as he um, allowed me to be accepted in the social justice fellowship as I'm going back to school as well. Yes. Um, we go to Proverbs or? Hey, go to Proverbs. So Proverbs 12. Uh, well, in the meantime, did you have anything from Matthew 21 this morning? Nah, but in Proverbs, I did like verse 25. Anxiety weighs down the heart, mm. but a kind word cheers it up. So it's cool to be kind and it's free to be kind. So you don't have to pay anything just to say something nice to somebody. Uh, you know, it's just always good to do that. Um, and then I had Proverbs 11. Those who work their land will have abundant food and those who chase fantasies will have no sense. And this is basically telling me that, it's just basically telling me that I just need to work on what I have going for me right now and not dream of, fantasies that I'm not um, able to afford or that's not attainable right now but it will be all attainable with prayer beautiful beautiful both of you all and the last verse of that chapter the way of righteousness is life when you stay in a pathway of the Lord with prayer with um, saying the words that he puts in your heart when you're led of him you will experience riches and in the pathway thereof there is no death of dreams of possibilities of favor because God is guiding you all the way. All right. All hearts are clear. Beautiful. So let's pray and let's acknowledge God in everything. Good night. Good night. Good night.